All right, we are off to explore Truffalo today. The city, we did the beach, um, but today we're gonna do a little exploring and we have our wine tour. And I really love the place that we chose to stay. I was in a little doubt because there were some reviews about the dirt road and how high it was. And let me tell you, we're Brazilian, the dirt road is nothing. <laughs> we haven't seen before. It's totally fine, it's totally doable. And I do recommend BNB Jeanette today in Chefalu. So it's like 10 minutes from the town, the new park and the town's so walkable, so you're just fine. All right, guys, this is not even peak season, so getting here gets complicated. Look at this traffic. So our um, stay is actually not too far, but it can take longer just because of the traffic. If you're visiting Chefalu, you have to absolutely stop at Pasta y Pasti because they do fresh pasta and it's delicious. We're gonna check it out later, but safest. like about Italy, I've seen or Europe, they always have really nice vending machines options and they tend not to be pricey. Look at this, the book, the water is a doll or euro. The soda, I don't know. Typical feria italiana aqui de esquina. But still, usually great price. <laughs> because I walk, I always say that he walks too fast, he's always in front of my videos, now he's walking like a sloth. Lojinha bonita. We're now at the cathedral in this main square where the cathedral is in Chefalu and it is quite stunning and beautiful and so far I'm surprised at so many shops so you definitely want to come here with time. Even if it's a day trip you want to have time for shopping because you'll find really cool cool things. I love the people that are out in the bow. I love to see the old man um, just talking, eating, you know, talking with their hands, drinking. It is so cool.
The Cathedral of Trefalu is a true gem of Sicily. This magnificent cathedral, also known as the Duomo di Trefalu, dates back to the 12th century and is a masterpiece of Norman architecture. As you step inside, prepare to be awestruck by the breathtaking mosaics that adorn the apse, featuring Christ Pentocleter, one of the finest examples of Byzantine art in Italy. Don't miss the intricately carved wooden choir stalls and the majestic columns that once stood in ancient Roman temple. Of historical significance, the cathedral houses the tombs of King Roger II, the founder of the cathedral and his family. This adds a fascinating layer to the history to visit. Make sure you also explore the cloister, a serene space where you can admire the beautiful medieval sculptures. And finally, for a truly unforgettable experience, climb the bell tower for panoramic views of Cefalu and the sparkling Mediterranean Sea. So visited the famous bathhouse. This dates back to the Arab Norman period. This beautifully preserved site offers a glimpse into ancient bathing rituals. Wander through the stone arches, admire the intricate brickwork, and imagine the soothing waters that once flowed there. It's a hidden gem, perfect for history lovers and curious explorers alike. We explored the beach area, then we had to try these rice cakes at Inchini that we saw people stand in line for. The price was great. I loved all the flavors. Frigol, I think it's called, and it was worth the hype. I had the ala norma with eggplant, Max had the meat ragu one. We had issues with the audio for the rest of the day, which sucks, but we're still sharing our footage with you guys and doing some voiceovers. Then we found this bathroom, which you take these steps and it was like inside underneath this tunnel on our way back. Next up, we boarded the bus for our tour to Castelbuono and our wine tour day that we absolutely love this tour. The first part of our tour was at the Hillais Santa Anastasia, a historic winery nestled in the hills in Sicily. Originally a medieval abbey, this beautiful estate now produces some of the fine wines in the region. On our tour, we explored the ancient cellars, marveled at the oak barrels, and discovered the winemaking process.
We tasted three exquisite wines, the rich Nero Davola, the elegant Chardonnay, and the robust Syrah. Each sip was a celebration of tradition and craftsmanship. We had a great time. The second part of our tour was in Castel Bueno. It looks like a movie set, guys. This charming little Sicily town with rich history and delicious specialty. It's nestled in Madanoni Mountains. Castel Bueno boasts medieval architecture and stunning Ventimiglia Castle. But the real stars are the local treats. The mana, a natural sweetener harvested from ash trees, and the renowned panettone. We had a blast taste testing, and of course I had to buy some for the kids. Overall, we had an incredible day three in Chefalu. Our trip was amazing. Stay tuned as we share the rest of our Sicily trip. <laughs> 